You're welcome to the show, Susan Jameson. How's it going? Thank you. Yeah, good. I have caught me at a really good time because they've just announced that they have put the va the ban back on fracking because um, I've been campaigning locally around here for about nearly tw nearly about 15 years, probably a bit longer. Again, wow. Against digging down for anything. Yeah. Put money into insulation and all the rest of it. I'm not going to go on and on about it, but I am in a good mood. So like Jesse Seaton, you're a campaigner. I am a campaigner. I am, yes. How did you first get the part as Jesse Seaton? Um, I'm not quite sure, really. It was absolutely nothing to do with, with Jim. Because the funny thing was that uh, they asked him to do it. And then... Um, uh, I heard that they were looking for someone who could do a Geordie accent. So I said to my agent, you know, I can because I've lived with him for quite a while now. And um, so they, they got in touch with me and, they, you know, they didn't realise for quite some time that they were using the same telephone number to get in touch with him and to get in touch with me. And then suddenly oh, wow. <laughs> put two together and went, hang on a minute. <laughs> so uh, I think it was partly just because I've got quite a good ear for accents and things and I think it was just you know because I've lived all over the country when I was growing up so I've got a bit of everything. Speaking of politics though, there was quite a lot of politics in when the There was a lot of politics in there yeah. yeah. But it wasn't boring was it? It was far from no, boring. No that's right no that's right well it was it was it was telling it like it was and what it meant to the people up there and you know it was in their hearts and affected their bodies physically and everything and and it was just incredibly real, I thought. It was a joy to do, I must say. Yeah, I think it's such a timeless series, partly because of the time period, but also because of the fine actors, great characters and brilliant storylines, weren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's what I was, was going to sort of hope that you might talk about, which was all the early stuff, particularly. I mean, I think the scripts were pretty good throughout, but the early stuff, which was all filmed up there, um, in Newcastle, which was lovely, um, and they were written by people like, well, James, Jimmy um, Mitchell, of course, who was, who he was a, he was a welder, I think, on the docks, who could write as well, and that's, and I mean, they were all proper local Geordie people who'd been through the mill and knew what it was like, you know, or their parents had been involved in all the strikes and everything, and uh, so, you know, it was, it really came from, people who knew what was what they were talking about and could write it so beautifully and accessibly for people to watch and a smashing group of actors of course our family particularly were lovely the season family yeah of course yeah. you had bill you had bella you had yes. your brothers yes. as well yes yes we were great friends with um with ed wilson particularly and also with Jeannie hayward for a long long time who's in fact she only died I think probably about three years ago now, and we used to see quite a lot of her because she moved relatively near so we could go and visit. And she was lovely. I always remember very early on when we were filming, all in the studio in those days, apart from the filmed bits, obviously. And we went onto the set for the first time into the kitchen area. And she just started taking things off the shelves and putting them away in the cupboards. She said, we're on strike. You know, I haven't got bloody... With all these expensive ornaments and things we wouldn't have any of this they'd all be in hock down the road if we'd had them in the first place <laughs> it was so brilliant and the boat comes in was produced by the bbc of course between 1976 yeah. and 1981 yeah, yeah. i imagine the viewing figures would have been very high back then yes i think they were i think they were because they weren't anything like the number of channels that there are now or anything but uh, no. No, it caught the people's imagination, definitely. Lots and lots of people, you know, because we were still living in London still, and uh, there were a lot of people would sort of, you know, be stopping you and saying, oh, especially, obviously, Jim, coming after the Likely Lads and everything, which was so popular, you know, into this real proper drama, gave him a chance to show his skills, which was great. Yeah, I think it. I think it's your husband's probably best role. I would say, and I would yeah, say that's one of. Yeah, one certainly of. one of. I mean, he's had some great roles, but on you know other things on stage and lots of things like that. But uh, there's some other good stuff that he's done, you know. But, and, and what about course, yourself? Where does it 
stand for you? Is it a highlight? It's a highlight, definitely, definitely. My, in fact, my day was made uh, not very long ago. I had to be up in London to to go and do a little um, sort of turning up for something. And um, I, I got off the tube at the Oval and uh, there was a, a young fella standing there doing something to one of the machines. He worked, obviously worked on the station. And um, I was just walking by and he went, oh, oh, he says, my favourite show. And I thought, I thought, oh, you know, a young sort of mixed race boy, lovely boy. I thought, blimey, because he wasn't very old. And I said, uh, uh, what? Thinking perhaps he meant, I don't know, new tricks or some rubbish. Not rubbish, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> rubbish at all, but you know what I mean. I know and he, you said, mean yeah. he said, when the boat comes in, he said, me and my dad, we've got them, we've got the whole lot, we've got them all, we've been watching them. And I just thought, bloody hell, after all this time. Yeah, it is yeah. amazing, isn't it? I think yeah. it's been, I think a lot of families kind of introduce it to their children. That's how I got into it, actually, because my really? parents loved the show. Yeah, yeah. And then I started to watch it and then yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got hooked. So. Yeah, yeah. So I gather you are a big, big fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got all the, I've got all the DVDs here, you can see. Right, so, OK. Yeah. <laughs> They've not repeated it though. They have. I don't know whether it's perhaps they haven't got the. I don't know. It's not been repeated very much, has it? No, it's it's surprising, really. You would have thought it would have been. Um, yeah, yeah. Of course, so. they would have found a little space for it somewhere. They've done all the Catherine Cookson's. Of course, I've done a couple of them. You know, and all that stuff. You think, come on. Yeah. You, it space. should be about time, really, shouldn't it? It is, isn't it? Should we speak to somebody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Be all right. Good idea. You can, you can do that. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you and James have been married for many years, but in When the Boat Comes In, it didn't have a fairy tale ending for Jack and Jesse, did it? No, it didn't. No. Well, of course, I mean, Lucy, bless her, got slightly altered things. Um, so, of course, I ended up marrying the, the teacher. And uh, Mr. <laughs> Ashdown, yeah. Yes, yes. It, it was very funny. It was very funny. He was incredibly tall. It's terribly funny um and but he was he was a nice guy actually but it was just sort of it was hard because having had all the others you know to suddenly be with such a different kind of person for characters and things but uh, no it was good i enjoyed it whatever but of course what happened sadly was that um a lot of the stuff was filmed later in later series to save money the bbc typically sort of didn't stop spending quite so much on it and did quite a lot of it down south. So, of course, Jack died, actually, on Farnham Common, with me crying. Yeah, <laughs> that was to do with the Spanish Civil War, wasn't it? Yes, yes, that's yeah. right, that's right, yes, we were supposed to be in Spain. We filmed a little bit in Folkestone as well, which was also supposed to be Spain. Um, and we were such a long time out on a boat at one point that the... Uh, the, the people providing lunch for us got so cross that they threw all the food in the sea and uh, into the harbour. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but no, we, I mean, you know, mad, but uh, that's filming. Yeah. Um, and with the last series, that was very, I would say it was very different from the other series because yeah. the first three series, were, it was all centred around the Seaton family, wasn't it? And yes. Jack's that's trying right. to make his way in the world. Yeah, that's right. And then, of course, he started moving up and working with, with you know, sort of, and other actors who were just so different, really. Basil Henson and people like that are smashing, lovely. But, uh, you know, Jack moved up in the world and started going to a few dinner parties and things like that. And it's a long way from the seat in the kitchen. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> but that's good. I mean, that's that's good. That's that's how it was. So, you know, that's what happened with these some of these guys who, you know, moved up politically. So, uh, no, it was good. It's good. But uh, Jessie was a great character, wasn't she? She had a lot of spirit, didn't she? Oh, yeah. She'd always yeah. fight for a cause. And Absolutely. I think that's what Jack liked about her, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, no, no. You, she didn't take any prisoners, really. She, and she got more brave as time went on, didn't she? Spoke up a bit more and all that, yeah, yeah. So there we are. But in the end, she has to marry Mr Ashdown. Um, it's mostly yeah. because of her, her brother Billy, isn't it? Because he wants oh. to go to uni. 
Yes, that's right. Yes, so she's got to try and support him somehow. So, oh, Edward's was such a nice, lovely guy. Bless him. Yes, the Youth Theatre in London. That's what he ran, you know, which has oh. been very successful since. So, yeah, he ran that for several years with his partner. So uh, he so had a nice career moving on in a slightly different way. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, there's one or two funny little stories. Do you want a funny little yeah, story? Yeah, let's hear the funny little stories. <laughs> well, I've told you about Jean stripping down the kitchen as soon as she got in there. That was quite funny. And, of course, when we were filming at Colour Coat, uh, on the sea, on the, on the, on the beach, um, it was hilarious, really, because everybody was completely muffled up in huge padded, warm jackets and everything. And there's me and Jim, <laughs> me in a sort of frock or something, paddling in the sea and having a wonderful time and enjoying it and everything. We were absolutely freezing. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we had to have uh, ice cubes. Had to, you have to put an ice cube in your mouth so that you don't produce... Obviously, the, the visible steam. Oh, right. In, oh. The, in the cold place, of course, your breath goes to, to steam. So, yes, so we had the ice cube so that we could save the lines. Wow. Yeah, that right. must have been difficult. Very cold up there filming, I must say, outside a lot of the time, which is why I think Jim quite likes being living down here now. But um, the other funny thing that happened one of the days we were filming... I think it was about the second series. Um, we were filming a, a street thing, and uh, I was, I can't remember what, why I was there. I, can't, I forget now the whole thing, but I was sitting down on a little chair um, for the makeup lady to come over. She was leaning over me and tending me and patting, patting my cheeks, I think, because they were a bit too red or not red enough or something. And this little old lady came along and she came up behind us and she said, Eee! Has there been an accident? <laughs> because she thought that I was being rescued from having fallen down in the street or something like that. And I was just having my makeup done. Oh. <laughs> and, I would have she, and of course, all these other people were all gathered round. So she thought, oh, hey, what's happened or something? Oh, you are right, Pat. <laughs> all this is going on. <laughs> Essentially, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Lots of little things like that in amongst the folk up there were lovely my pet and so what this is a hard question what do you think was your best episode in the series that's probably a too hard a question or oh god you know it's such a long time since i've seen it now i don't think i can really answer that did you watch it back at the time when it was on the tv oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Yes, but it's, it is a long time ago that it was first yeah so. 76, so oh, yeah, no, the original no. series. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and our daughter is now 46. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. <laughs> can't quite believe it, but there you are. Yeah, so I can't really answer that. Oh, that's all right. I wasn't sure if you could, because, yeah, I mean, it's a long time ago, isn't it? And yeah, it sometimes is. you find with actors, they can't re-watch what they're in as well, don't you? You find that. Well, I don't mind. I, can't, I don't mind. I always think I could have done it better. Yeah, that, that's the thing, I imagine. Yeah, same with radio as well. Everything you listen to that you do, you think, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I'm that better. So, uh, yeah, I just played a very nice Yorkshire woman. A funny old lady who wanted to talk to chickens all the time. And uh, I listened to that the other day and I thought, oh, finally. Well, that accent wasn't quite as good as I thought. You get very self-critical as the years go by, I think. So I can't answer that one now. Sorry, darling. That's all right. That's no worries. Right. Really, I suppose we ought to get the set, oughtn't we? Do you know we've never got it? You've never got the box set, really? Well, I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> that was we should. It was good value, really. You know, it was a yeah. lot, lot, lot of hours, you know. I, I particularly like the first two series, and the th I like the fourth series, but I'd say the first two are my favourite. Yeah. yeah. First two. First two. I did quite enjoy. I quite enjoyed the Farnham Common episode because uh, I have a facility to cry, 
I can oh. cry to Morda. And uh, Ed Wilson can't really cry uh, or couldn't, bless him. Uh, and there's Jack dying, <laughs> supposedly in Spain. Um, and, uh, and I'm just streaming with tears, very pleased with myself. I, I thought the scene when you broke up with Jack was yes, that, fine yeah. acting. I thought that was really believable and yes. you did that fantastically yeah. well. Yeah, yes, actually, yes, now you've brought that back to me, yes. Yes, we'd have to get the box set. Yeah, you've got to watch it again. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got a few people I'd quite like to see, you know, youngsters, younger people, so have a look at it and see what they think. It was James Mitchell and um, and Sid Chaplin, for instance, who, who wrote... In fact, one episode that we did, we did recorded early on, written, written, written by Sid, uh, he was in hospital having heart surgery oh. at the actual time that we were in the studio recording. Quite extraordinary. And, uh, and his wife was there too with us. And he was fine. Oh, good. Well, that's, we that's good we've done our best for you, Sid. And uh, bless him. Yeah, yes, he, he recovered well, went on to write some other stuff. And what was it like? Did you receive the scripts? Like, you know, obviously before you, what, what was oh, that? Yes. Like? yes. Oh, yes. We, we got, uh, I'm not sure if we had, I think we had certainly had at least the first four. And, and we probably had the whole of the first six, I think. It was It was done... It was just everything was done differently. Really. It was done in one office with the same lot of people and everything. The whole series, you know, there was no sort of lots of other people coming in and out and taking over this bit and taking over that bit. The actual running of it, the actual production team stayed the same throughout, all the same cameramen and everything. Because, of course, we had five cameras and, uh, you know, all in the studio and everything and then cutting off to the bits of film and completely different way of filming completely yeah. i suppose it felt um was there kind of a family vibe then to it so, yes yes yeah, very much so and i think that was partly because you would be perhaps have three cameras on one scene you know so the cutting backwards and forwards and somebody upstairs in the in the box you know saying come into camera three now and all that was going on up there while we were acting away yeah, very, very different setup. We yeah. love, a lot of, lot of people in the business now would never have experienced any of that at all. And do, do, what do you, do you think, obviously you're an actress now, you still act and you do radio, as you say. Do, did you prefer working like that or do you prefer it now or is it a bit of both? Oh, a bit of both really, yeah. I mean, I haven't done anything like that with, you know, with so many static semi-static cameras, I mean, for years. So sometimes you do you do an episode of the Doctors or something and they've got a couple of cameras, but there's not the same thing. So, so um, I think you just go with the flow, don't you? Things change, so you everything changes and you go with it. And you either get on with it or you don't. So I don't mind, really, as long as I've got a nice shot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Those, you know, very nice. <laughs> Was there anything you filmed that you, because obviously when you're an actor, you they don't always show everything that you filmed, but it's probably very hard for you to remember now. But I'm just wondering if there was any scenes that you did and you thought, oh, I wish they would have kept that in. or Not really, no, because I don't think, I don't think much of it was dropped at all. Maybe oh. the, little bits, maybe sometimes just for time, they might just nip a bit off or take a but no, I mean, there wasn't a huge amount of editing because they were so written so succinctly and so well. You know, it wasn't it wasn't needed. No, I don't have any memories of thing, things, a, a few things since I've done. And you think, oh, blimey, they didn't, why is that bit gone? Mm. No, not back then, no. I suppose also it needed to be because the editing process was so much harder back then because now it's all on computers, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's much more complicated. Much more. No. That's really, I don't know about that. <laughs> but yes, it was. I'm sure it's much harder work altogether. Great. So, well, 
thanks a lot for joining us. It's been really nice to speak to you. That's all right. I think I've probably talked a load of old rubbish. But no, no, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. And yeah, this is going to be on radio. Um, I'm from Gatwick. And then we're hoping to do a When the Boat Comes In podcast at some stage. Um, hopefully, yeah. I know you said a lot of the actors have sadly passed away now, haven't they? Um, but I imagine some of them have are still managed around. to find anybody else to talk to? Well, you're the first one, so... <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm going to, before I launch, hopefully I can interview some more and then um, take it from there, really. Oh, oh, good. Yes. Yes. Come here a minute. What do you want? Come here. Just come here. I know what I want to know. Would you like to come and just say hello? Hello. No, come here. Yeah. Put your face in the camera. It's dogs and everything coming in now. <laughs> no, nope, he's too shy. Is he? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I can hear him, so. <laughs> right, I've got to go. He's, he's doing the dinner. Okay. All right, then. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. All right, love. Well, all the best. Great. Thanks and a lot. So hopefully a few people enjoying the memory of it all. Yeah. Know. Fantastic show. Thank you. One of my proudest little jobs, you know, something I'm proudest of. Okay. Great. Thanks, Susan. Cheers.